From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. Now that the Liberals have tabled their budget, the next phase is actually getting it to pass in the House of Commons. The leaders of the Conservatives and Bloc Québécois said both of their parties will not support the plan. That means the fate of the minority Liberal government hinges on NDP support. But as we hear from Canadian Press reporter Mia Rabson, the Liberals can probably rest easy. It doesn't seem that anyone's really eager to have an election right now, including the NDP, uh, and there's a lot of things in that budget that they like and they would like to see implemented um, and would probably get very cr heavily criticized for amongst their supporters if some of it wasn't like Pharmacare, uh, which they've been asking for for a long time. It's only the early stages of Pharmacare, but it's actually the beginning of it. It's funded uh, for the NDP to vote against. That would be very unusual. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has been coy about voting for the budget despite his government's supply and confidence agreement with the Liberals. Conservative MP Michael Chong says it's too early to make any final conclusions about the integrity of the last two general elections. Chong is urging the federal inquiry reviewing the matter to publish general findings, including those about the possible interference directed at him. But he says the inquiry still needs to hear from additional testimony of diaspora communities whose campaign experiences in 2019 and 2021 could significantly change the commission's conclusions. A spokeswoman for Governor General Mary Simon says she will continue to advocate for digital respect despite suggestions it was inappropriate for her to wade in when a government bill addressing the issue is being hotly debated. Justice Minister Arif Varani raised eyebrows last week when he posted photos of himself with industry experts at a recent symposium hosted by Simon at Rideau Hall. Virani's social media post made mention of the government's new Online Harms Act, which aims to better change how Canadians see content on the internet, saying he discussed it with some of the attendees. Simon has been making efforts of her own to raise awareness about online abuse since her office decided to turn off comments on its social media accounts last year, following a slew of harassment and comments. Emerson the Elephant Seal is back in Victoria after defying attempts to relocate him. He swam more than 200 kilometers to return to his preferred urban habitat to molt. Fisheries officer Morgan Van Kirk says he was blown away by the news that the two-year-old Emerson had returned to Victoria last week, lounging on a beach during his annual molt, a process in which a seal sheds their fur and the top layer of skin. I think for, for any animal, um, especially a two-year-old elephant seal, uh, to be put in a place that he was unfamiliar with and be able to easily find his way back means, you know, he's probably smarter than all of us. Uh. <laughs> the fisheries department says Emerson's fans only need to give him space during the molting process, as he could be dangerous if he feels threatened. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the Toronto Maple Leafs finish their NHL regular season tonight when they visit the Tampa Bay Lightning. Leafs center Austin Matthews enters the game with 69 goals. There hasn't been a 70-goal scorer in the league since 1992-93. Elsewhere, the Edmonton Oilers will visit the Arizona Coyotes. The NBA has banned Toronto two-way player Jonte Porter after a league probe found he disclosed confidential information to sports bettors and bet on games. Porter is the second person to be banned by Commissioner Adam Silver for violating league rules. The other was former Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling in 2014. Rookie Keaton Wynn threw six solid innings of one ball run and the San Francisco Giants beat the Marlins 3-1 to one to win their first series in Miami since 2016. Wynn scattered four hits and struck out four. The Marlins dropped to a National League worst of 4-15. and 15. From the Canadian Press, I'm John Kennedy. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.